Well, a funeral will be held today for Luke Batty, the 11-year-old boy murdered by his father last week at a Victorian cricket ground. I sat down with his mother, Rosie, yesterday to talk about how she's coping with her tragic loss. Rosie, one week on, I guess a lot of people want to know how you are, how you're holding up. Um, I'm in overdrive. Um, I've got a lot of people around me that we're all falling into pieces and then picking ourselves up quickly. I'm getting truckloads of mail that just says Rosie Tyab, Rosie Cricket Club. And clearly the little post office knows who it must be because it's all coming here. All areas of my life are uh, coming and saying, I'm so sorry. It has absolutely touched the whole, the whole country, I think it's safe to say. What's occurred to me, Rosie, is that you've lost two people in the last week. And I I'm wondering if we could talk a little about, about Greg. He was in and out of Luke's life, as I understand it. Just describe their relationship, if you could. Luke had begun to notice and understand that his dad was different, that he had a lot of anxiety around how his dad might react to people. I am still convinced and know within my heart Greg loved Luke, but his act was a totally selfish act and an unforgivable act. Why do you think Greg did what he did? He had enough. He had enough. And he saw a life on the other side with his beliefs where he wanted to share it with Luke. Everyone believed it was me at risk. So did I. It never entered my head and neither should it because no one can comprehend that that would ever have happened. And did you live in hope that Greg would change? I knew he wouldn't. I thought to myself, OK, I don't want another year like last year. What am I going to change? I didn't have time to work it out. Now my life has changed forever. I know you've chosen to speak out because you really want to remove this stigma, don't you, that seems to be attached to speaking out about domestic violence. Why do you think people are so reluctant to speak out about it? There is a degree of shame, um, mainly because you see other people and you think, oh, I, w I wish I had that kind of family environment for Luke. It's like a prison sentence, honestly. When does it end? Well, it has ended for me. It's ended for me now. But at a cost that I could hardly imagine. And the, I guess the message we take from this tragedy is that it has to stop. As a community, we have to, we have to be aware, we have to wake up to these statistics. I guess there's an assumption that I thought everyone knew but when I mentioned it on, to Eddie Maguire and the team the other morning, they were blown away. One in three women, around your barbecue, around your kitchen table, wherever, one in three women are being subjected to violence. How do you want Luke to be remembered? Uh, as a sensitive, funny, fun-loving little boy. Who was fast becoming a young man. Yeah and who's turning into a really good one. You've clearly been a remarkable mother. I hope you can take some comfort from that. I can. Yeah. I really can. Yeah. And I've got to tell you, your courage and, and, and your ability to forgive and your dignity, the whole country has, has picked up on that. And, and you know what, if they have and they're not judging me, and if they are willing to kind of understand that the decisions you make, the decisions because you love some things so much, and if they can begin to believe that no one could have thought any harder than I did or been as careful or as attentive, it makes me feel really happy. Well, I hope you can feel the collective hug from all of Australia and, and know that Luke will never be forgotten. He wanted to be famous, but he's... I think he's looking down and he's going, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. And he would just be, in his own little way, so pumped, so pumped. He was a good little guy. He was. Thank you.
a remarkable woman, isn't she? And if you'd like to donate to help children affected by domestic violence, please go to the web page on your screen now. And um, we're getting so many messages um, and, and well wishes coming in from you at home. Keep those messages coming. This one from Kerry Ann. She says, Heaven has a beautiful little man. It's such a sad, sad story. Poor mum and family. It's just gut wrenching. Thoughts go out for them today and every day. And Amelia says, So very sad. My heart goes out to Luke's mother. Rest in peace, little man. The sad thing is, this could have been prevented. Very powerful interview. I thank you for that, Georgie. Thank you um, for that interview, sitting down as well. Keep that feedback coming in. I think it does really help her out as much um, as it possibly can, given the circumstances.